All right, tennis. Today we're going to be talking about the best settings for Warframe on PC. Firstly, we're going to start with the graphics settings because that's the most impactful, impactful thing on your game. It will determine your FPS and everything. So we're going to be going to video. And in video, the first thing is display mod. If you have two screens, if you use two screens, I would just go with borderless full, full screen. If I have one screen, then you can go full screen and reduce latency in the game. But I would just go to borderless full screen because it doesn't make that much of a difference. If you have two screens, you would be using both, so that would help you a lot. Vertical sync, I always turn this off in every game. I have never turned it on a day in my life. For max frame rate, I would just recommend you to put it at your monitor's refresh rate. But if you feel like you want to push it up more, you could put it at no limit. But I would just recommend this right here. This would be good. Brightness, I keep at 50. Contrast, I keep at 50. Field of view, 90. So you can see a lot more. Show FPS. I would turn this on so I can see my FPS. If your PC, let's say it's a uh, kind of a low-end PC, then I would just put FSR or NVIDIA DLSS. But this game is really old. Even though it has really good graphics, I wouldn't I wouldn't use upscaling. Unless it you have really bad frame rate then I would turn this on. For graphics, I keep everything at high. I wouldn't go to ludicrous on everything because I don't think it makes much of a difference and you you won't be getting more frame rate. I have GPU particle quality at low, but you could pump this up to medium or high, but you would get more performance. As I said, I just need more FPS. I want to target my monitor's refresh rate, so I keep the settings at high and this one at low. NTA sync, I keep this at AX TAAA. It doesn't really, it won't really affect the performance that much. TAA sharpen, I keep this at 30. You can bump this up to 50, even 80, and it will sharpen the game, make it a little bit better actually. Anisotropic filtering, I keep this at AX. Tri Trilinear filtering, I keep this at on. So these really smooth out the game and like make it look a little bit better all this is really personal preference it depends on your pc but i would just you can follow my settings right here i turn this off motion blur difficult distortion clip because these really make the game look actually bad and not good at all bloom i actually would turn off but bloom actually increases the lights brightness when appropriate so yeah it's pretty good. I turn this on, I keep it at 30, do not bump this up, it will actually make the game look worse. Keep it at 30 and that would be great. Effects, I actually turn this on so I can see the uh, effects on my weapons. Contact shadows, character shadows, such as, I keep this all on. Dynamic resolution, I turn this on because it will actually reduce the uh, resolution whenever you play. And say there's a lot of effects on your PC, on your screen going on, it would turn the resolution a little bit low so it can sustain your frame rate. I do not like this, it actually reduces the quality when I'm playing, so I just turn this off. This will reduce latency, but actually might reduce your frame rate as well. I would turn this on, but also I would I, would, I don't want to touch it because it's inconsistent i think if you have a consistent frame rate that would be better than less latency accessibility these settings are really important first and foremost fire manual triggers consistently the manual triggers you would have to click a lot but if you turn this on you can just hold it and it will turn into an automatic weapon it's really important i would turn this on but this is all really up to you here aim assist everything here all this is up to you. Colorblind compensation. I use Dishernopia because it makes the game look a little bit better, actually. And I keep the colorblind filter strength at 15. Preview visual effects intensity, I turn this off. And I keep the visual effects intensity at 115. Now, listen to me here. Some people turn this all the way down because they don't want effects on their Warframe. But look at that. He's not so cool anymore. But if I bump it up, say 110 it looks a little bit better it doesn't really matter uh, if i put it at 100 but it actually does matter because it will look it, the game would look a little bit visual more friendly so it will look way better to the eye and you can see your enemies a lot more better so you can turn the sound but i like to keep this up because i want to see my warframe and his cool fashion enable screen shake i turn this off i don't want to i don't want my screen to shake i want to aim clearly and i want to see my enemies clearly now character highlighting this one is really important turn on enemy highlights 
put the color to red or whatever you want you could put it to pink pink is a really good eye uh, color to focus on and the anime highlight intensity I keep it at 30 but you wanna you can pump bump it up or load it down as much as you like chat scale I keep at 100 chat text size I keep at uh, medium so the chat doesn't really bother me when it's down here and a lot of people are texting interface I haven't changed anything here but the lock map rotation I turned this on so the map doesn't bother me whenever I move my tenor left and right now for my keyboard and mouse uh, settings my look sensitivity aim sensitivity and aim sensitivity scoped is all 16 because mouse and keyboard is all a one sensitivity not like a uh, controller controller would be a lot more different mainly with fire weapon input this one helped me a lot because whenever I melee especially with Excalibur I have to click E but if I actually click my left mouse button it would melee until I aim so it uses the weapon so this is this one is really really good I would recommend you guys to turn this on camera movement arbiter camera movement speed and push pull speed all these over here you can put as I put and these are the settings guys hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe and like the video and I will see you guys later peace